Hello everybody, Steady Claudio here, and today we're going to tame a Parasaur. Now, a Parasaur is probably your first tame. You can make the saddle at level 9. I just have a personal preference. I don't care for them. But what you want to do is bolo his feet. Or in this case, yes. And it'll turn yellow. If you're not using this mod, it's okay. And then you just trank him. So you want to make sure you get the bolo down on his feet. And you might have to use a second bolo. This one's a level 95, so it's not too bad. Get one more shot. And you want to be careful because they don't have a lot of health sometimes. Do they take mojo berries or they take berries? Alright, mojo is always the best ones if you're going to use berries. Okay, I fast forward and I'm going to name him Package. Take a, it took about 20, uh, 10, 15 minutes for him to tame. Now, what kind of Parasaur do? It's pretty simple. If you right click, you'll see this um, kind of like force field go out. And then you'll see a red circle. You'll notice in the upper right hand corner there, you'll see the red circle. It's tracking the inky that's there. So, this is why you're riding it. Right click. Don't see anything there. You see it's picking up the inky again with the red circle. Oh, let's try it one more time. It's telling me it's detected something. Sometimes you'll see a red circle out there in the it keeps picking up the inky. And it only picks up carnivores, I believe. We're going to back up and see. We're going to go up here. So that's why you're riding it. You right click. Now you can also do this when you're like off of it. Here, we're going to try this again with the right click and see it's picking up two, two uh, enemies right there to the right. You'll see in the trees there the two red circles. There's two of them. So that's what he's detecting. Now you can get off of him and go into the wheel. Go to alert settings and enable turret mode. Then his little head is going to turn yellow like this. And then he does it automatic. See, he's detecting an enemy. And you'll see those same two red circles. So this is kind of cool. You can set it outside your base. And he can warn you when something is coming. You can set this to creatures. You can set this to players. You can set this to enemy players. So sometimes in PvP, it's like an alarm. And then the thing that I like best about this, especially at low level, is that for smaller animals, and when I'm saying smaller animals, I'm saying the pegas, the pegos, it will fear them away from you. It will also do it with the inky. So this is a good low level one to have. See this pego right here? Watch this. You push the C button, and it scares it off, and he runs away. And that is one of the best things I've ever seen in this game. So that's the uh, Parasaur. It's a good low level tame. I'm going to show you this one more time just because I love to scare these things away. This one didn't work on that one. It got away from me. But you notice that also that one is running away. So it worked on that one. He runs away and doesn't bother you. So I hope you've enjoyed this real quick recap of what a Parasaur can do for you. Parasaur, Parasaur, something like that can do for you. Uh, have a great day. Steady Claudio out.